Do Ray Comfort and the Way of the Master have zeal without knowledge? Hi, I'm Bob Wilkin with Grace Evangelical Society, and I have some good news for you today. Ray Comfort has a ministry called The Way of the Master. It has over a million YouTube subscribers. The particular video we're going to be looking at some clips from has over 70,000 views. So he's exceedingly popular. When I looked at this video, I was impressed by something he said about his zeal for the Lord and for evangelism. Mike, would you play clip one? Kirk, I wasn't an evangelistic chicken or a rooster. I was like a bull in a china shop. Really, I had so much enthusiasm, I had zeal without knowledge, and I did tremendous damage. You say, what's wrong with zeal without knowledge? Well, would you like your brain surgeon to have zeal but no knowledge? Yeah, I can do this, I'm excited about it, but I don't know what I'm doing. So we can do tremendous damage if we don't know what we're doing. So we're here to teach you some biblical principles, especially laying a foundation of the use of the law in evangelism. As I study what Ray Comfort does, I find that he still has zeal, but he also still lacks knowledge. What we're going to see in the clips we look at today is that Ray Comfort does not use scripture when he evangelizes. He uses his own ideas, which he's cobbled together by his misunderstanding of quite a few different verses in scripture. And so I would suggest that you need to be very careful in watching the videos that Ray Comfort puts out because he's quite misguided. He's got a lot of zeal, but he still lacks knowledge. Mike, let's play clip number two. Have you ever told a lie? Of course. What does that make you? I'm still a good person. Yeah, but what do you call it if you tell a lie? You're a liar. It's a, have you ever stolen something, even if it's small? Um, yes. What does that make you? A thief. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. As a child. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. And um, have you ever used God's name in vain? Depend on what God you're talking oh, about. God's name. God's name is <laughs> yes, that's called blasphemy. Yes. yes. And it's using God's name to express disgust, yes, which is a yes, very yes, serious yes, sin. Yes, yes. Um, now Jesus said, whoever looks upon a woman to lust after her has committed adultery already within his heart. Well, do I look at these beautiful women here and lust for them? Surely I do. Okay. <laughs> Craig, by your own admission, you're a lying, thieving, blasphemous adulterer. Blasphemous adulterous, yes. Now this large man is very nice and he's very patient. I think part of the reason he sticks around and part of the reason he's so nice and patient is because he realizes he's being filmed and he'll be happy to be on a video that's seen by untold thousands of people. But Ray Comfort, it seems to me, is trying to be deliberately harsh deliberately in his face. We might even say he's being rude to the man. He's certainly going way beyond trying to get the man to admit he's a sinner. He admits that. He wants to admit the man to admit that he's a bad man. And he wants to harp and harp and harp on this. The problem is, first of all, Ray Comfort gives no scripture to defend what he's doing. Wouldn't it be nice if he showed the man from Romans 3.23 that we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and that includes me and you, rather than haranguing this man to give him the impression that I'm holy, but you're not? But secondly, where he's headed in this conversation is confused as well. Mike, let's play clip number three where he gets down to telling the man what he must do to be saved. You know what God did say you wouldn't have to go to hell? He sent his son, born of a woman, to die on the cross for you. Yes. Whether you believe in hell or judgment or not, Jesus Christ suffered and died for your sin, what for my sin. Are you? Christian. Okay, I yeah. And, and I'm the, born a Christian anyhow, well, you've got to be but born, I changed You've up. got to be born again, John chapter 3. So when Jesus died on the cross, He took the punishment for your sins. Yeah. And if you repent and trust in Jesus, God will forgive every sin you committed okay. and you'll escape the damnation of hell. That's the gospel. I find it sad that Ray Comfort spent over four minutes 
talking about the fact that this man is a sinner, this man is a bad man, and when he gets down to telling him what he must do to be saved, he has 25 seconds total to tell him about the fact that Jesus died on the cross for his sins and what he must do to be saved. And the answer he gives is not the message of John 3.16, that whoever believes in him will not perish but has everlasting life. No, his message is you need to repent and you need to trust. Well, guess how many times in Scripture that expression repent and trust occurs? Uh, that would be zero, none, nada. Now, there is a related expression, repent and believe, in Mark 1, 14 and 15, and I have a blog which, Mike, I'd like you to put the link on the screen and in the comments section on that passage, but that's not talking about how an individual is born again. That was a call to the nation of Israel so that the kingdom would come in the first century. What Ray Comfort did here when he gets down to what you must do to be saved is again express his own ideas, not scripture. Notice he doesn't quote any scripture. So if this man did believe what Comfort said, he wouldn't be believing based on the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. He'd be believing based on the authority of Ray Comfort. We need to preach Christ. We need to tell people what Jesus did and what Jesus said instead of telling them our thoughts and our ideas. If you like what you heard today, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And remember, keep grace in focus.